In 2018 itself, a warning was issued about a fuel switch fault. Till the date of accident, there was no mention of whether the switch test was carried out as per the bulletin. 229 lives lost. Was it avoidable? Hello Tech Files. This is your Rathinavel here to explain the preliminary report for the accident involving Air India's Boeing 787 Dreamliner aircraft at Ahmedabad on 12 June 2025. According to the official preliminary report, both engines suddenly lost power in the initial climb. The data recorder confirmed that the fuel control switches, which are designed to stay in the run position, had moved to cut off one after the other. Within just one second, this action instantly stopped fuel supply to both engines, triggering a total loss of thrust. Inside the cockpit, the flight crew were confused. One pilot asked, why did you cut off? The other replied, I didn't do it. It's a haunting exchange showing that even the pilots didn't understand what had just occurred. Why did you cut it off the fuel? I didn't do it. Seconds later, a chilling distress call is heard over the radio. Mayday, mayday, mayday. The aircraft, now powerless, descended rapidly. It crashed into the rooftop of a residential hostel building just outside the airport perimeter. The destruction was devastating with lives lost both on board and on the ground. Smoke filled the sky as emergency services rushed to the site. The scale of the tragedy became clear within minutes. An investigation team was quickly deployed. Data from the flight recorders revealed key insights. Attention turned to the fuel switch mechanism a design also flagged in a past advisory, though not classified as a mandatory fix. Maintenance logs were reviewed. So far, there is no clear evidence of deliberate action or mechanical failure. But the full picture is still emerging. This incident raises important questions not about blame but about safety. Can a switch that controls fuel to engines be accidentally moved? Should non-mandatory advisories be taken more seriously? How do we prevent confusion in high-stress situations? For regulators, airlines, manufacturers and for every passenger who steps onto a plane, the challenge ahead is clear. To learn, to improve and to ensure this never happens again. What do you think could be the real cause of this accident? Share your thoughts in the comments below. In memory of those who lost their lives, may aviation safety guide every flight. Hope you like this video, share it to your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.